Wi-Fi is going to very soon become the primary um, service that transports, uh, you know, calls, and especially calls that uh, that have a lot of uh, data intensivity or video intensivity. Those are going to be shifted by definition to uh, to Wi-Fi. Uh, users, I mean, we are all pretty addicted to Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, we want Wi-Fi more than we want coffee. Uh, but more than that. We are getting addicted to public Wi-Fi. 81% of internet users admitted to using Wi-Fi hotspots. And 71% of them had used one in the last month. We didn't know, but we wanted to play so we could watch it. So we went around trying to get Wi-Fi into key places like airports. And today, as JR just said, in the US, about 70% of all data usage is Wi-Fi based. And it's not going anywhere. And I think we're all very excited about what we can do with the Internet of Things, what we can do with different uh, multimedia or online applications. But first and foremost, we need the pipes in place in order to deliver the water. We need to embrace change, right? Things are shifting and we have to realize that they, because they're shifting, we need to embrace that change that's happening. We need to understand it and we need to embrace it. Coverage and throughput are also really important, and it's not as simple as having enough coverage in your hotspot. We think this is a network dynamic. We think these are people building networks, which is in fact true. But 50% of those are controlled by real estate and business owners and brands, which is a very different, and they think about this problem radically different than a network owner thinks about make it easy for the uh, citizens and make it as very, very cool for everybody to generate more ideas. You know, 20, 30 years ago, phones were not connecting people. It was connecting phones. You had to go walk to a phone and make a call. And that's how the whole world started. Then came along the mobile handset, which started connecting people. This is where now you could make a call from wherever you were and now with the iPhone coming along a lot of the smartphones and smart applications were born. But where are we going? That, that's where we are today. Let's look at where we are going into the future. It's about connected experiences.